You know, how many of you feel angry with God if you're honest with yourselves? So, I feel I've been dealt bad, you know, the joke has come in. You know, like, what happened to the ace of spades? There's a lot more of you who feel that God's a punishing God, by the way, than the people about being angry. Not being truthful with yourself, people. It's not good. <laughs> Truthfulness is essential. Let's look at this question. What I'm saying is that God gave you a gift, which is... and gave you the ability, and every other person before you, the ability to exercise it in an unlimited way. You can even exercise it and break the laws if you choose. Now, what happened after that gift was given is all of us, each individual here, has a choice. Are you going to exercise your free will in harmony with love? Or are you going to exercise your free will how you feel like doing it? Thank you very much and blow the consequences. Right? That's your choice. That is placed before you. That choice was placed before the first human couple and it will be placed before every single person that ever exists. That same choice. Now when you place, give that gift, how people use the gift, what's a gift? Isn't it where you're saying, here's what I've given you, it's now yours. Yeah, don't you do that? Yeah. Do you then dictate how they use it? Yeah. Some of you do. <laughs> but it's not a gift. It's not a gift if you're doing it, but of course some of you do, right? So already we're out of harmony with love, right? But anyway, if we really love the person and we're giving this gift, what's happening then? Really what's happening then is that we've given this gift and they are able to use that gift as if it's their own. It is their own, is it not? Yes. So you can give your son a gift. Uh, let's say it's a new car. And he you know, goes down to his mates. What, what is he tempted to do? You know, you know <laughs> slap it in gear and big, big spinny outs. That's his choice of how to use your gift, isn't it? Now, if you get angry about that, then you, you weren't giving him a gift. You were giving him something else. Some expectations, right? But anyway, God doesn't give like that. When God gives you a gift, you are given the gift. It's yours. You can do whatever you want with it. Totally up to you. God is not going to dictate to you how this gift is used. This gift of free will. Now, if I decide to use this gift of free will out of harmony with love, and God has set up a lot of other laws to maintain the harmony of the universe, what's going to happen? If I decide that, let's say, all of God's laws, so here's God's universe, and all of the universe laws are governed by love, and I'm sitting in the middle of this universe, and I decide I'm going to use this gift God's now given me in total disharmony with love. What's automatically going to happen to me? I'm automatically going to be out of harmony. Am I not? The instant that decision is made. And as soon as I'm out of harmony, what happens? Straight away I'm going to be feeling this lovely corrective thing called Pain. I'm going to start feeling pain. And this is where all pain comes from. All pain comes from the choice inside of any individual to actually live out of harmony with love. Okay, so then isn't that not a gift now? Isn't that like the guy, like the, you give your son a car and he goes out and burns the wheels and whatever and you say... No way, that's, you've got to pay for that now. You've got to mow my lawns and do this and punish him for burning the wheels out. But you gave him the gift and he's using it how he wants to use it. But now you're... No, the something. way God set up the universe is that we're actually, involved, we're actually punishing ourselves right. when we're out of harm with love. Like God doesn't punish his own us. Size. Yeah, he would have to... Like if I was treating my son the same way, yeah. he would have to pay for his own ties. 
he would have to pay his own fine when he gets fined by the police. He would have to, yeah. and that's still loving, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> He's still got his free will. He can break the laws and do whatever he wants. But he has, in this case, the, 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 so that son is saying, oh, well. Go ahead and do that. Do the thing with the tyres and burn them out in one day and then pay 600 bucks because I'm not doing that. Yeah. And that's how God's treating us. God is not going to take responsibility for your choice to do an unloving thing. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's really quite simple, isn't it, in a way?